Welcome to the Arma Ghost Talk flight tutorial. Today our video is going to have two flight demonstrations, an in-depth controls explanation, and a series of inclined landings. This tutorial is specific to the Ghost Talk. We are not talking about other helicopters such as the Mohawk, the Little Bird, or any other helicopters. We're talking specifically about the Ghost Talk. So let's get started. Roll the scroll wheel to open the menu. Roll the scroll wheel and press spacebar to enter as pilot. Right control plus M to open GPS. Most important part of flying, other than landing, is planning. Default map view tells little about terrain height. Press toggle map textures. Areas with more lines represent steep inclines. Areas with fewer lines are flatter. Picking an LZ on the other side of the mountain will protect you from anti-air, if you fly low. As a new pilot, you should mark a spot about a kilometer and a half out from your landing zone. At this zoom level, a square is one kilometer by one kilometer, and a square's diagonal is about 1.4 kilometers. Scroll the scroll wheel to open the menu and spacebar to start the engine. You can double tap Alt to free look. This removes mouse control to your helicopter. It takes a couple of seconds for the helicopter to reach operating speed. It can't lift off until then. Hold left shift to rise. During the flight tutorial, I make extensive use of this panel. This compass shows your heading. Multiply by 10 to get a normal compass heading. This is your vertical speed. If the arrows go down, you are falling. If they go up, you are rising. The horizon shows the tilt of your helicopter. The green is sometimes called the index. Tilting the helicopter into the red flies forward and loses some height. Tilting up into the blue slows forward speed and gains height. Tilting sideways turns the helicopter if you're going fast. Helicopter forward speed in kilometers per hour. Helicopter height above ground in meters not the height above sea level. Decreases if descending or flying over hills or mountains. It's time for the step-by-step. -step. I'll be moving quickly here, but we'll show repeat with another flight. Right control plus M for GPS, scroll wheel and spacebar to start engine. Hold left shift to rise. Rise to about 20 to 30 meters. Hold E to turn the helicopter right. Hold left shift and tilt down to about 20 degrees with W. Keep an eye on your speed and height. At about 150 kilometers per hour, change to 5 to 10 degrees. Follow your line on the GPS. Tilt the helicopter to the right with D. 
When parallel with the line, press A to level out. Stay at about 5 degrees. You will need to keep tapping W to maintain this angle. I'm off path again. Press A to tilt left a little. When back on path, press D to level out. Again, press D to turn, then A again to level. During this, tap W to keep the helicopter angled down. We've reached the slow mark. Tilt the helicopter up about 5 degrees with S and release left shift. A little under 5 degrees in a ghost talk will cause no climb and slow down the helicopter. Keep pressing and releasing Z as you approach the LZ. In the 60 km per hour range and slower, press S to tilt the helicopter up to 10 degrees. This last part of the landing does a lot of subtle things fast. At the last about 25 km per hour, tilt up with S to about 15 degrees, and as soon as speed near 0 km per hour, press W to level out. I leveled out a little late, now slowly floating backwards. I go to correct this by pressing W. I react slightly with S to 5 degrees. Tapping Z. A little bit of forward or reverse speed on a landing is safe. Don't hold Z the whole time and plummet. Correcting for drift is helpful, but overcorrecting is the easiest way to crash. As a new pilot, get confident landing with a little speed, about 10 kilometers per hour. Second flight. Right control plus M for GPS. Tap left shift to power on engine. Left shift to rise. Rise to about 20 to 30 meters. Hold E to turn right. Tilt with W to about 20 degrees, hold shift simultaneously. Don't let go of shift. At about 120 to 150 kilometers per hour, tilt up with S to about 5 degrees in the red. Tilt the helicopter left with A to turn to flight path. Level out with D. Tap W to stay forwards. Reached flight path. Tilt with D. Level out with A key, keep forward, tilt about 5 degrees with W. Dragging the mouse gives a little smoother feel in forward flight. Turn right by tilting with D. Reach slow mark, hold Z to lower. Tilt up with S to about five degrees into blue. As you lose speed, you can tilt higher without gaining altitude. I am decelerating a little quicker than intended. I use W to tilt backwards into red about 5 degrees and release Z. This gentle tilt won't accelerate quickly, but will move me in closer to the LZ. Getting in close now, tilt up to about 15 degrees to slow down and hold Z. At this low speed, 15 degrees causes no gain in altitude, but decelerates quickly. Near 10 kilometers per hour, I have to level out with S. I get a little picky about bushes I thought were close, 
so I strafed more with A and D. Floated backwards a little, so I tilted down into red with W briefly, then leveled out with S. On the last five meters, I tilt up ever so slightly and tap Z a few times to finish the landing. All those steps in the landing came pretty fast, so here it is again. Tilted up about five degrees, held Z. Too far, tilt down, release Z. Tilted up about 15, held Z. Release Z, hover forwards. Strafed with A and D. Tilt forwards. Briefly held Z. Slowing with gentle backward tilt. Tap Z a few times. Flight mechanics from hover. Q key left pedal turn. This also causes the helicopter to take on an angle which leads to drift. E key right pedal turn. Also causes drift. Pay attention here. Notice as I turned more, the helicopter took on a more extreme angle. Correct the backward drift with forward tilt. Now to correct the rightward drift, I tilt left. Forward tilt W key. Backward tilt S key. Right tilt D key, right strafe. Left tilt A key, left strafe. Controls at speed, results are different from hover. Pedal turns do not work at speed. Tilting up S key. Tilting up reduces some speed and gains a lot of height. Tilting down gains speed while reducing height. A high speed you will gain a little extra speed, but plummet. Tilting up hard stops forward speed quickly, but gains too much height. Tilt left or right with A or D to start a turn. Tilting hard will turn quickly, putting the index deep in red and lose height. Tilting more gently and keeping the index near horizon, maintains height while going into blue gains some. Landing angle and descent. When landing, you need to try to match the angle of your helicopter to the slope of the terrain. Your direction of descent needs to be perpendicular to the slope. Steady, early work with Z lands the helicopter even as it drifts slightly backwards.
somewhat high forward speed made work by gentle descent with Z. Often with too much forward speed, you might overcorrect with a high tilt, resulting in backwards drift. Here we held Z after losing all forward speed, so as we descended, the helicopter drifted backwards and the tail hit the dirt. On this steep mountain, the pilot doesn't maintain enough forward speed. He comes in too cautiously. Correct angle, safe speed, but idles in air and drifts backwards. He tries to set down quick to stop drifting, but already caught too much speed and bumps the nose of the helicopter. On a second attempt, the pilot hits Z earlier, but has too much reverse momentum upon landing. Rolling downhill, he avoids collision with something behind him by flying up. On the third attempt, he comes in slow with forward speed. He loses his forward speed and tilts forward and ascends slightly. He sticks the landing with matching the slope at the last moment. On an even steeper part of this mountain, the helicopter attempts to land. He has done everything correctly, but still slides down a short distance to a flatter area of the mountain. This area is simply too steep. Now get out there and practice.